He's a bit older. He's 24 years old. He's undersized at 5'10". Um, his tackle is not good at all, but good zone coverage. In fact, his zone coverage, if you look up here, is better than anybody else other than Andrew Woodard. So very cool to see that. Again, let's go back down here and maybe start scouting a bit more at some of the, the corners in this draft and see if we can find some late round guys that might stand out a bit more. Oh man, his combine sucks. Ah, gosh, I was I was liking what I saw from him earlier, but maybe not so much after that combine. 7-4 combine there. All right, sounds good, coach. Good man coverage. His combine sucked too, yep. Jeez. Whoops. I don't know. I don't even know. All right. We're kind of okay at outside linebacker, I feel like. We have two young guys there, so I kind of want to give them some more time and see what they can do. Um, I should probably scout more defensive ends, though. All right. I'm going to run M your DMs. What? All right. So let's go back to defensive ends. <clears throat> and see if anybody here will stand out to us. Um, only 25 reps. Not liking that. So here we go. And I guess it'd be, make more sense to find like a 3-4 guy. Like a 3-4 run stopper could be good. But not grading out well. 3-4 uh, guy down here. This guy had a good combine at 7. Ah, there you go. This guy is strong. Good power moves, too. Come on. Good pursuit. Oh, gosh. He just drops off a cliff after that. But, I mean, at that point in the draft, we're talking about a sixth rounder. If I grab him in the fifth, I would be stoked to pick him up. Definitely uh, a lot of potential there. All right. So let's go back over to right ends here. See if anybody's worth scouting a bit further. All right. What up, Larkins? How you doing today, man? Hey, no worries, dude. I hope all is well with you. All right. Let's see. Did I ever finish? Well, I was waiting for a while because Alex had the majority of the sandwiches so i was kind of waiting for a stream where he was here but i have not seen him in a while so yeah we'll go ahead and start eating some more of those sandwiches again i do still let me see how much i owe y'all still let's see how many sandwiches i owe y'all was it here i feel like i had one of these and just did not yes i have see i've forgotten to mark these off but luckily I should be able to remember the ones that I've already had. So I, I had the yogurt, cornstarch, and crushed Doritos. Um, what other ones did I do? Yeah, I still owe y'all quite a few. I still owe y'all quite a few. Maybe I can make one of those tonight. I'll see if I have the ingredients. But if I can, I might go ahead and do that. Yep. I might do that for dinner tonight. We'll see. We will see. I might do that with. I'll have to, to check the ingredients of what all I have. Um, so, NFL draft. Here we go. Sneaky Nation. Let's make it happen. 49ers picking number one overall. Let's go to Adam now, who's got more on the 49ers. And they got Burrell. Well, there isn't much to say other than this kid was born to run. He's the spitting image of his father, a nationally ranked sprinter in several major events and highly recruited by every major college. Can y'all hear that? Unlike his dad, he chose to pursue a career in football, and so far that decision is paying off. He may not be gold medal fast, but he has the speed and quickness to cause fits for the opposing team. He's the type of player you like to see out in the open field where he can make moves a lot of other players can't. The coaches are going to... The pouring, y'all can't hear the, the game noise? Your disposal. The Rams are now on the clock. There's a Coke. Rams have just made their pick. Oh, Adam, I just went down the list. While you wouldn't normally be surprised to see a quarterback winning the Heisman, it's his electric style of play on the field that makes him a little more intriguing versus previous Heisman <clears throat> winning quarterbacks. He was one of the most exciting players to watch in all of college football, making plays with his arm and his feet. 
He's an escape artist turning would-be sacks into dazzling touchdown throws. He's going to need to learn to operate more in the pocket in the NFL, but I'm excited to see what this Heisman winner will do for his new team. All right, so we are up on the board. And now it's just a matter of if we find somebody that we like. Jalston Mack could be interesting. He is a nose tackle. 34 reps is good for third right now. Um, I'm not loving a lot of our options. Don't really need an outside linebacker. Let's see. I do need a, a future replacement. King, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate you, dude. Um, I do need a future replacement for Joe Thomas, though. But neither of these guys are very strong. As you saw, they each only had, what, 32 reps? Not as much I would like to see. I do need a free safety. Well, I think I need a strong safety more than a free safety. Um, this guy has good zone coverage. He's got decent tackle, decent pursuit. We don't know what his hit power is, though. Uh, we also don't really know if he can make some plays, get some interceptions or anything like that. So, I don't know. He does have good size. I wish he was faster. If he was a little bit faster, I'd feel more comfortable taking Andrew Woodard here. But as it stands, I'm not entirely sold. This guy has 34 reps. Um, I'm not entirely sure about if we want to take him, though. Uh, but Mac does look solid. What are you guys thinking here? You guys let me know what y'all are thinking. Let's get some opinions in the chat on what y'all would like to do. Uh, this guy down here, uh, not very fast. Uh, this guy was super fast, but we have three wide receivers as is. He's only 5'9". Um, don't even know what his catch is, but it's a below a B-, minus, so that's a little worrisome. Um, let's go look at some of the corners. I could maybe trade down a little bit, honestly. Uh, here's another defensive tackle. This guy had 37 reps, though. So I, I almost wonder if this guy would be better to get. And it's another Lawson, which we already had. Um, here is Tobin this time. So we're seeing some guys later on down the list that we don't mind as much. His zone coverage was terrible there, though. Um... What was your... Only 25 reps. Not a big fan of that. Let's see. This guy... This guy might be a decent option, but we might be able to pick him up with our other first-round pick. Um, decent coverage. 4-4-0. I mean, this guy is pretty solid here. He is 24 years old, but corners are kind of a big need for us at the moment, I feel like. Uh, this guy is very good with run support, which, again, might be key for us, too. What was his combine? 4 3 0s, 97 speed. Yeah, but I understand that's great, but we don't need a wide receiver as badly as we need a few other things. I will look at some uh, trade options before making a move, but a lot of you guys like Mac. What are we dealing with as far as defensive tackles go right now? I know we have Shelton there, but he hadn't really improved a whole lot. So he's an 81 overall. I don't know if that defensive tackle is going to be better than that. And, and you got to remember, Shelton is still pretty young, isn't he? I think he's still pretty young. So, I don't know. Take it easy, Larkins. Hope the rest of your night goes well. Abershell, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. How you doing tonight? All right. Oh, yeah. Let's look at our options here as far as trading goes. Uh, get a first rounder, get another second rounder, get a first rounder next year, a second rounder next year, and a fifth this year. That might be interesting if they're not projected to be very good. Uh, a second, if that's not going to get it. Um, second this year, we don't need another second this year. We already have a few second round picks this year, so that's not like a very tempting offer. Um, a first, a second, and a third next year from the Colts, who really did not have that great of a season this year. That might be the way to go. Uh, what was the other offer that included a first and a second? That's a first, second, and fifth. The Colts offer is pretty outstanding. You got to remember, they didn't do that well. But the question is, do I let one of these cornerbacks go off the board? 
My corners right now, we have Joe Hayden, but he's up there in age. He's not going to last a whole lot longer. Uh, we have Taylor, who's only a 76. Then we have Williams. So corners, a, a need for us. Now, Cornelius is a 75 now. It's strong safety, only a 73 overall. So didn't get a whole lot of improvement there. Um, but secondary is kind of one thing we need to improve. Let's see. Battlefield is so stressful. I almost think trading with the Colts is just too good to pass up on, though. Even though we have these needs, I do think Mac's going to be good, but is Mac going to be better than Danny Shelton? I don't know. Um, what? Where was the uh, strong safety listed at? This guy's a free safety, but I couldn't move him over to strong safety. He's got great zone. I mean, this guy would probably start for us right off the bat. Right? Let's go ahead and see if there's anybody else that we like over there before making that decision. I mean, Tobin might be available with our late first round pick. We don't know what his zone coverage is, though. It would be the downside. I don't know. I don't know. I think that trade with the Colts is just too good to pass up on. I do. Get a first, second, and third from a team that's not really looking like they're going to be that good. I say we take it. Hold on now. I say we take it. All right. And then hope that safety, that one of those safeties falls to us. Because we do have another first round pick here. And they took the right tackle with that selection. We'll have to find out where he is at. So Woodard is off the board. We did see him go there. He went to the Dolphins at number nine. And Max off the board. Oh, a team relocated. The Chicago Cougars is a thing again. And they have selected Mac. What team is that? We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out. What up, Purple Phoenix? It's going well, man. How you doing? Uh, no, this is uh, year number two. Year number two. All right, so I think we should probably go Tobin here. That guy's coverage we know is bad. Hopefully Tobin's is not. Hopefully it's not. Tobin has more speed, good hit power, good pursuit, good tackle. Uh, as far as rookies go, that is. So if we can improve his zone coverage, he should be a solid pickup for us. 78 overall with superstar development. Can you guys hear the story? solidified his positioning as one of the most sought after defensive backs in this year's draft he has a nose for the football and a willingness to attack the ball as it's in the air instincts are a trait that simply can't be taught and many draft experts have compared him to a young Deion sanders if there's one knock on him that i consistently hear it's that he needs to work on his tackling mechanics and strength one scout even showed me film where he was shown struggling to bring down bigger backs and receivers one-on-one. -on -one. He'll be meeting with the team nutritionists and strength coaches in the coming week as his new coaching staff feels that if they can bulk him up a bit, he'll win those battles. Comparing him to Deion Sanders, though, oh my gosh. I will take it. Thrilled with that selection. Instant starter. There we go. Let's go to Adam now, who's got more on the Patriots' last pick. He's only been around the game of football for a few years. All right. You look at his I don't know if you guys are listening. Can y'all hear everything being said? Success in college. This guy is pure athlete, and he looks faster than any of the other defensive linemen in the class. Matt Miller used his split times in the 40 and broad jump numbers to make the point that this kid has one of the fastest first steps of anyone in the class. He's the type of lineman that can get free from the block and be in the quarterback's face in an instant. He's a dynamic defensive lineman that can provide an immediate boost in production for this team's defense. All right. You can't hear it? Okay, cool. Let's see. We're simming, though, Storm. I love Battlefield, too. I quite like it. We took the safety. He's looking like a great pickup for us as well. So, very happy with him right now. 5.6 combine. 36 reps. This pass block does not look to be very good, though. I like that, but his combine was terrible. 
unfortunately. All right, so where do we go here? I'm trying to find a guy that we might like, but I don't know. Let's see. And those corners are, of course, gone at this point. Boy, I don't know. I don't even know where we would go here. I mean, we know this guy's a second-round talent. He's fast. We have a 75 overall, though. I doubt he's going to be better than that. Gosh, my nose. Stop itchy. Stop itching. No, this is not a great class at all. It's not. I mean, you can see. It's just really not. And I don't even know where to go with this selection. Because it's just that bad. Maybe go with Willie Ely here. Oh, gosh, he's so slow. Otherwise, I would just take a flyer on him. Just with this good man coverage. All right. 457, though. 457, though. Let's see. Take it easy, purple. What up, Jack Tank? How you doing today, man? 